We are now back to start the community service. They will be together and then they decide so that we all together in the prayer would rest from the Lord Jesus of our God. I now invite the priest to take us to the community service. I know that my Redeemer lives, and on that final day of days, his voice shall bid me rise again, an ending joy and ceasing praise. This hope I cherish in my heart, to stand on earth, my flesh restored, and not a stranger, but a friend, behold my Savior and my Lord. We have come to put our brother Christopher Msonda and what to rest in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, Christopher has gone to his rest in the peace of Christ. And the Lord now will come with him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope, eternal life, let us assist him with our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord also, for ourselves, may we who mourn be reunited one day with our brother. Together, may we meet Christ Jesus when he who is our life appears in the world. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, by your three days in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you, and so made the grave a sign of hope that promises resurrection, even as it claims our mortal bodies. Grant that our brother Christopher may sleep here in peace until you awaken him to glory. For you are the resurrection and the life. Then you will see your, you face to face, and in your light you will see light and know the splendor of God. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. We now bless the grave of our brother. United with Christ, and we bless his bread using the holy water, which reminds us of our very baptism in Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
God has called our brother Christopher Nsonda Kangwa from this life to himself. We commit his body to the earth from which it was made. Christ was the first to rise from the dead, and we know that you will raise up our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. We commend our brother to the Lord. May the Lord receive him into his peace and raise up his body. Christopher, dust you are, and unto dust you return. But the Lord who raised you up, who created you in his image, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We now invite close family members to come and put some soil into the earthly resting place of our Christopher and I reiterate close family members.
Mungeta na ikumbata Na ikumbata weleta Na ikumbata weleta Na ikumbata We now come to the stage where we have to lay wreath on the grave for Christopher Sondakangwa. And we shall proceed as follows. The first to put the flowers are the parents. Parents, for all of our parents who are here, would call Chris either son, nephew, son in law, and they will be laid by Ambassador Peter Lesa and Mrs. Cassandra and Mrs. Evelyn Katebe Kangwa. They will lead all the parents to come and lay the rest. Thank you. 
languages. They will be followed by the children who are here with us. That is Musonda, Mutale, and Lontia. Who also represent uh, Ronan. After the children, uh, my brother and sister, Christopher, brother and sister, yes, I'm 
I would like to I would like to first and foremost thank my Tata Mayo, the Ambassador Kasanda for hosting Christopher's funeral Panganda Pamuago. Hosting funerals is not a cheap activity and it's very demanding in all areas. Secondly, I would like to thank the Catholic Church. Thirdly, I would like to thank all the government uh, ministers, the cabinet ministers, the members of parliament, and all the permanent secretaries, and all the government dignitaries who attended our funeral. We thank you very much. I would also like to thank all the people who have assisted us in different ways over the over the, the death, the burial, the sickness, the death and the burial of Christopher Kangwa. I thank all our friends, all our relatives, everybody who contributed in whatever way. Contributions were made in different ways. Some made financial contributions. Some were physically there to do the work. Some helped us in so many ways. We thank you all, and may God richly bless you. Thank you very much. We now invite the priest to give us final blessings. We now join together in praying for strength, comfort, and consolation 
through the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We invoke the intercession of the friends of God, the saints. And among the saints, we have our mother Mary, who continue to intercede for Christ, intercede for each and every one of us, and for the family, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. May the prayers of all the saints and of our mother Mary, the mother of God who stood by the cross of her son, Jesus, as he was dying on the cross, help us who mourn Christopher Sondakangwa. May she give us the comfort of our own faith and by her prayers lead us to the happiness of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto Christopher, O Lord, and Amen. let the faithful light shine upon him. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God. Rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our burial service has come to an end. Let us now go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.